Let us share with you our experience of India. The need for a loving Savior is very great. Those who are sharing Christ are very few. And those who know the truths for this time, they are even fewer. But when he, Jesus, saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. I first heard about the Bible workers in North India in 2010. At that time I was told that many of the workers that have been sponsored by Jesus for Asia in that area have had no formal training in scriptural things. They know Christ, they want to share Christ, but some of them can't even find the Ten Commandments in the Bible. Four years later, my husband Joseph and I got the opportunity to go to North India and be part of the very first training for the Jesus for Asia Bible workers in that area. And as we prepared for the, for the classes, I wondered what will it be like eager to learn? Will they feel like they already know everything? What will the response be? The first class period I had just begun my lecture and I was reading in Genesis where God gave the Sabbath. Immediately, students started asking questions. Tell us more about the Sabbath. We want to understand the scriptures. We want to be able to explain this. How do we answer these questions? They were so eager to learn. A lot of them had come from other Christian denominations and they had accepted the truth but they didn't understand how to explain it from the Bible. During the week, we covered the Sabbath and talked about the history and also the Bible reasons for why we believe the seventh day is the Sabbath. We talked to them about the state of man in death, which is something they were really confused on at the beginning of the week. Church history, health principles, righteousness by faith. There was so much we wanted to share, and some of it was too much to get in just that short amount of time. But they were so grateful for what they did receive. It was just such a short time, but we were blessed, and they were blessed, and very grateful for what they had received. We wanted to do more. We asked the leaders, what can we do? How can we help? And they gave us some ideas. The first one was, can we come back? They want to do a longer training session. They have some projects and building that they need to finish, but they want to do a six-month training session where they can bring together workers from a larger area and give them a deeper understanding of Scripture. They also shared another need with us. Most of the workers come from remote areas, and in those areas there's not public transportation, which is the main transportation for people in India. 
Most of them could never dream of owning a car or a motorcycle, but they can ride a bus, which costs only a few rupees. But where they live, there is no bus. So in order to travel from one house to another, one village to another, to do their visitation and, and speak at the churches, they have to walk or maybe hitch a ride on an ox cart. And some of these workers live two, five, ten miles from their next village, their next church. So to visit there, it takes a lot of time and they can't go back and forth easily. It would be wonderful if each worker could have their own bicycle. It doesn't take any fuel, there's no extra cost except for their food, and they can get much more quickly from one village to another. So the leaders asked us, could you maybe take on this project? Could you provide them with bicycles? Watch out. We were eager to try, but we didn't know how we would get the money. We remembered God's promise in Philippians 4.19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We shared the need that we had learned about with several of our friends back in the States. And one lady felt that God was calling her to be that agent through which the bicycles could be received. And she began to share with her friends. Money started coming in. And before we left India to return to the States, a significant portion of all the donations needed had come in. We returned to the same area where we had done the training and spoke with the leaders there. We told them we want to see the bicycles, we want to see the workers who are going to receive them. And they said, well, let's just give some of those bicycles away right now. So we went in the morning to the church where the workers were beginning to gather. And we had a service together. We were able to share with them testimonies and songs and just fellowship together. After the service, we went across the road to the bicycle shop where they were supposed to be ready, but the workers were still working, and working quickly, to get these four bicycles customized with all the fittings needed to make them really useful for the Bible workers. They had a rack on the back that was so strong the wife could actually ride on it, which is cool because otherwise only one person could ride. Most likely the whole family will be balanced on that bicycle, knowing how they do things in India. After the bicycles were finished, we brought them back across to the street to the church and had a service of consecration for the workers and their new vehicles. While we were at the church, Joseph and I had the chance to try one of the bicycles. They're actually really strong, well-built bicycles, and I got to sit on the back like the wives would do. It was a bit tenuous, but it was really fun. <laughs> we called this project Bicycles for Bible Workers, Wheels for the Gospel, and that's what we're praying, that through this tool, they can be much more e effective in communicating Christ. I wish you could have been there to meet those workers to see their earnest faces, their smiles, and their gratitude. Please pray with us for those workers. Only the filling of the Holy Spirit can enable them to do what they need to do. Just a few workers, just a handful, maybe 25, 30 at the most, to reach thousands and millions of people all around them who have no concept of the gospel, let alone of the truths that are about to turn the destiny of this world. Has God touched your heart? Would you like to be a part of sharing the gospel in India? You can be a blessing. First, by taking these workers to God in prayer every day, your prayers could make all the difference only heaven can open the way for the gospel to touch the hearts of those who have been steeped in totally different way of thinking and believing their whole lives. Second, consider sharing the means that God has given you. Many of these workers go without salaries, often because there is not sufficient donations to cover them. Third, consider 
being a part of the training that, by God's grace, we would like to do in the near future. Consider sponsoring it financially, or if God has given you the calling and the ability, consider being a teacher, coming for a short time and sharing the knowledge, the skills, the walk with God that He has entrusted to you. The harvest is ripe. The laborers are few. Could it be that God has called you for this time, for such a time as this? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Romans 10, 13-15 If you would like to contribute financially to these projects, you can do so in the following ways. By mail at Health and Life for India, Care of Jesus for Asia, P.O. Box 216, McDonald, Tennessee, 37353. You can also donate online at wwwjesus 4 that's the number 4, asia.org forward slash invest. To help provide bicycles to other workers, select Bicycles for Bible Workers. To sponsor a Bible worker, select Bible Workers in India. If you would like to support the future training of Bible workers in India, please select Health and Life for India. Thank you, and God bless.